Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, last game I'm gonna test out for the day. Um, it's gonna be PS1, PlayStation 1. We're gonna mess around with nightmare creatures. So, let's check it out. I don't got any special instructions for the PS1 emulator. It's pretty uh, straightforward, simple. Uh, I haven't had any problems with it. Loads pretty much everything. Uh, I use OpenGL because it looks everything looks a lot better. It doesn't look choppy or anything. And I don't got that many games. Um, only stuff I remember when I was a kid and a few other gems that I never played before. I was like, oh, wow, this is pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's do Nightmare Creatures, one of my favorite games. Um, where is Nightmare Creatures? Huh. There it is. The trouble with having so many games is that you just don't know what to play and when to play it. So you just find yourself playing games randomly. And then forgetting where you put them. Actually, I think I loaded the wrong file. I'm supposed to load the big one, right? Yeah, I get this sound issue sometimes, like that. With the BIOS on there. Don't know why that is. But it usually stops when I get to gameplay with the echoing but it does that not on all games just on most games now, this was one of my favorite PS1 games growing up aside from the Resident Evil series and Silent Hill so I figured we'd try this out I noticed the analog stick is not usable in some games which sucks this is one of them it does nothing probably because it's not a dual shock uh, game but it took a while getting used to the controls, but you eventually get used to it. Just gotta remember the controls now. And get my ass handed to me. Excuse me. Calm that down. I even forgot how to fight. But this is one of my favorite games. I um, just want to show you guys that it works great. I haven't had any problems with any PS1 games. They all seem to work great. Um, that I've tried. This bastard you gotta kill a certain way. Yeah, but if this had analog stick controls, I feel like it would have been better. It's a little bit difficult to use... Uh, the directional pad, but that's how it originally was. Eventually, I might just uh, map the directional pad to the analog stick for those games that are not dual shock.